Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, July 7, 2017. I have woken up at the yurt, went to Little Blue 2 to get some supplies. And um, we're going to try to cook again inside the yurt, even though I could actually cook this meal out at Camp Freedom 2, which I would um, normally do. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of cooking uh, in the yurt. So I've got the stove here, the butane stove. I've got my um, frying pan here, which you can see has water in it. That's from me cleaning it. I always want to rinse everything out before you use it because ants and bugs crawl around inside here. Anyhow, uh, for breakfast, we're going to try to make some sausages and um, eggs and then eat that with bread. It's going to be a really simple breakfast. And then I'm going to take a quick shower and head out to do all my legal stuff and try to get some YouTube stuff done. Then it's a matter of coming back here over this weekend to try to finish up my packing so that I can actually leave the yurt if I um, want to. The van is about 90-95% done. I just need to go through my things and grab what I need to take with me and um, leave what I'm going to leave here um, and clean up so that the next person who comes out here to use it has a, a nice place to um, bug out. The first thing you want to do when you're out here cooking if you're planning on coming out here, is make sure you bring um, some butane canisters. If you plan on using the um, stove here, the portable stove, I do not recommend building a fire out here, even though it may be tempting. There is a lot of brush, and this place is notorious for catching on fire. And if you, you know, you set it going, it's not going out. Um, you could end up stuck in here. But not just you, there are other people out here in the compound. They are hunting, they are living, some of them. There's homeless people living out here. Um, so please do not build a fire out here. I know there was a campfire here before. Somebody built the campfire. That's why all these bone parts are here. But I would not recommend building a fire out here. And I would actually um, suggest not, just don't do it. Just look at all this brush. Um, this stuff burns really fast. We know that because we use it as fuel out at um, Camp Freedom 2 uh, for the rocket stove. Anyhow, bring your own propane canisters. I uh, just used one for the first time. Uh, you basically unscrew the cap that's on the butane canister. It has a little nozzle thing that you lay in here. And notice there's a little lever switch thingy that goes in here to show you where it sits. Then to turn it on, um, you, you push this lever down this one in here down so that it'll bring the spring thing to push the canister up to the nozzle receptacle then you're going to hear a little bit of a leak because I guess that's the flow of the uh, butane and you put this thing the flame thing on and then you light up this area right here although I think it's supposed to have its own igniter but I didn't really see it let me try it and see if it actually ignites oops you can hear that I'm going to try to, yeah, it's supposed to ignite, but it's not igniting. So this is the igniter right here. You can see that little spark thing supposed to spark, but it's not sparking. So bring some um, scissors, and I mean not scissors, um, matches, and light it up, okay, which I'm getting ready to do. I can smell this one. Turn that off. Phew, it's leaking. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can't film it because I don't have my tripod here, but I'll go ahead and set the flame and get it going and show you what, you know, it looks like. Once you have it lit, this is what it looks like. I actually have it on high, so I'm going to turn it down and not waste the fuel. So it's burning now. You can see it. The flames are there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there are flames. I am going to put my, um... Let me dump this water that's here. Put my, um... Frying pan on there and let it heat up a little bit. I'm going to add, um... I'm, I think I'll add just a little bit of oil, and then we'll add our, our sausage. I've added the oil and the sausages, and just have the cap on so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Matter of fact, this, this system could actually probably be used outside to cook. Might be better than getting grease all over inside here. Maybe I'll make a little cooking area outside. I think it's better than doing it in here and getting um, grease splatter everywhere. So I'm going to flip the um, 
the sausage is over here. Unfortunately, I don't have a regular spatula. I do have this barbecue one that my kids had me pick up the other day, so we'll use that to flip everything over. Tell you what, look at that. It's already cooking so fast. This butane cooking system cooks extremely fast compared to um, cooking with my inverter and the um, even the rocket stove. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off for now. We're gonna shut this off and disconnect. You have to pull this lever up to disengage the, um, the nozzle. So I'm just kind of letting it um, cook up right now. And I think I'm going to make a cooking area outside the yurt. Maybe um, maybe I'll make the cooking for the um, yurt over there at yurt 1.0. Set up a little portable cooking area out there because grease is splattering everywhere. It's kind of a mess in here. So, I think cooking outside is going to be better. And definitely don't cook at night. Also, whatever food you cook here, make sure you wrap it up tightly and take it out to your car. Don't try to sleep in the yurt with food in here. It will attract the animals, which I found out last night. So, we're going to go ahead and cook up all these sausages. And um, just have sausage. I was going to have sausage and eggs and bread. But I think I'm just going to have sausages and, and um, bread and sa you know save some maybe for later for um, snack because I have to cook everything up. I don't have refrigeration. I was going to make some eggs also, but I've decided I'm not going to make eggs right now just because um, I can't eat everything, you know, and I don't want the food going bad. So we'll make eggs another time, but for now, this is just um, frying up um, sausages at the yurt. Until next time, everybody. Have a great day. I thought I should point out something about cooking with this butane stove. Um, I had shut off the heat hoping that I could just finish cooking with the heat that was left in the, the metal and stuff. But I'm finding that as soon as you shut off the heat, it cools down faster than it does on the rocket stove. Because of course you got fire going on underneath there. So when you shut off the heat on here, the, um, the pan here will cool down really fast. So... You pretty much want to make sure your food's cooked before you shut it off, which means i got to flip it right now and leave the heat on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see I had the, the sides here that needed to be cooked. And that's what we're doing is we're just flipping it so it cooks the side of the um, sausages. I have to keep the flame on. I, you know, So this is a, a new experience for me, learning how to cook with the stove. I guess the same would apply with a, a propane cooking system. As soon as you shut it off, there's no more heat. But yeah, see all that grease splattering everywhere? That's not good. So what we're going to do is um, probably shift the cooking area outside where we can cook um, during the daytime outside. Either out here somewhere or more than likely because there is kind of a dining area being set up right now um, in year 1.0. We'll probably set it up out there and um, cook and eat out there and try to keep food in here. To a minimum. I mean, you can eat in here and stuff, but you really don't want to be cooking in here and having it smell like food because the animals are coming here at night. Here then is our finished sausages. I'll be eating those with um, the bread that I have here. Until next time, everybody. Have a great day. Bon appetit. Thank you for joining me.